American statesman, the former Vice President of the United States. A really kind introduction. Thank you for your extraordinary leadership here uh, at, uh, at this great institution. Uh, Van knows me well enough to know the introduction I prefer is a little bit shorter. I'm a Christian, a conservative, and a Republican in that order, and it is my honor to be joining us for this hip lecture series on international affairs. I'm looking forward to sharing some thoughts about the state of the world. And, uh, but to see this wonderful crowd out of students and so many distinguished alum means a great deal to me. I, I want to thank uh, I want to thank you, Mr. President, <laughs> for the warm welcome today. I want to thank members of the Board of Trustees, including your chair, Chris Carpenter. I also want to thank a great friend of mine and a, and a great public servant here in South Carolina has been a great encouragement. He's here with his wife, Lilia, but Senator Josh Kimbrell, thank you so much for making the trip uh, from the state capitol to be with us here tonight. Thank you for your great service to this community. You can give them all a round of applause. Now, Wofford College is a special place, 168 years since before the Civil War. Thousands of young Americans have come here to learn prepare for life's great adventure. But what's unique about this place is it's committed to citizenship, to training up leaders. And this lecture series is all about that. But while these are challenging times in the life of our nation, inflation at a 40-year high, gas prices through the roof, a crisis at our border like none we've ever seen in our history, a national debt piling up, I'm absolutely convinced that help is on the way, and we are three weeks away from a great American comeback. <laughs>